Alright, I'm going to start, and if nobody shows up in the stream, that would be great. Um, today is the 17th of December, or I'm about to do the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 18th of December, 2018. I am playing as Molly Sanze. I have an automatic armor piercing shotgun, a self charging high capacity slipstream, long range visitor, and I want to kill off world security, off world security officers. I am weak, can't use melee weapons. Supplier is actually relevant for once with the armor piercing shotgun, and vindictive, vindictive is hopefully not relevant because my plan is to never be taken down. So, looking at the mission, I see that I have guards with heat sensors and guards with emergency shields. The alarm response is light reinforcements and I'm trying not to be seen. I have a glitcher's tick which means that our approaches will be super fast and I don't need to worry about approaching the ship from the most efficient direction. So, taking stock of the situation, I see that my assassination target is over here, next to a crate. There are no other crates. The telepad, the alarm response is reinforcements, not target fleas, so the telepad's not relevant at all, frankly, because if I set off the alarm, the alarm, the reinforcements will be behind me, and the target's not going to run in any direction. So I really don't need to worry about that too much, as long as I can get through this room quickly. Uh, taking stock of the situation, I see that this guy has an emergency shield and there are some other dudes. So I'm just going to sprint in with my slipstream, kill everybody, and then keep going. Trying not to be seen, and that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Looks like I have angered guard Arctan with my impatience. I wasn't careful about the noise ring. That means he'll run up to me, which is good, but he'll also activate his emergency shield, which is bad. I won't be able to kill him, but I can just run by him because I have a slipstream that has a million uses. And I can just yoink his keycard and run all the way over here. So I am just going to pay no heed to the fact that he has noticed, or that I have alerted him with my noise. I want to make use of Terran's slipstream super speed hacks. Oh, I messed up. I was hoping to maintain the momentum of my run while using, without having to use another slipstream charge, but I have four of them, so really, why would I bother with that anyways? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So there I was able to successfully make use of Terran's uh, super speed hacks for a moment. The slipstream ran out, but because I was an auto-pathing by using the middle mouse button, I kept the momentum for the duration, or I kept the speed for the duration of the run until I reached the auto-path. So that was pretty cool. Looks like, looks like my assassination target is about to die. And then I will run up, grab this crate, and blast this fuel barrel to get myself out of here as fast as possible. Uh, I'd like to teleport the item, tell, or the key card to me, so... A worthless concussion hammer? You know, I should have known that because technically I cheated by watching uh, my my compatriot nobody at nobody on the Discord play earlier, but I forgot that that was a concussion hammer. It doesn't really matter though because again, this escape is going to be quite quick. Slowing down time. 
as per the advice of Terran. I'm going to pick myself up as precisely as possible and fly as directly away from the ship as I can in order to minimize the time near the ship. Total of 10, 11 seconds, darn. 10 seconds would have been better. 11 seconds, still a very short amount of time thanks to the power of a self-charging uh, self slipstream. It was a very quick first mission. Stocking up on concussive items. I look at the next mission. Again, minimize sightings. Alarm response target sees. That can be useful for luring the target to me. Autopilot means that there's no way to disable the alarm. Not that that matters. And the bosses are random guards. Random guards could be concerning. Emergency shields are also a bit concerning. There are only four dudes. And I have slip shoes. I would like to do this as fast as possible, but I also want to get any crates that I can, because I do, I do have a love for crates. So one thing I could consider doing is I could set off the alarm to lure guard Vassar, that seems slow. I would also lure my assassination target and then I could run down, all of the crates are so far out of the way, wow. I don't have any way to crash the assassination target, so using loud noise is probably the best way to go. That's also what nobody did, and his was his first run, or his second ship was incredibly fast. So I guess I'm just gonna blast to lure everybody over here, and I'm gonna disable the sentry gun just to be safe. I'm going for that crate, I believe. Didn't get seen, which is good. Um, actually, I'm going to shoot out this window really quick. That'll kill the target for me. And then I can go into this crate, and then I can go super fast again. I'm also going to join the other crate because I have the slipstream to do that for me. So I got some loot. somebody is going to be shooting me and I need to block it, then that means that they'll have seen me, which will mean I have incurred a penalty, and that's not what I want. Moving on, I want to kill another guy. Right, yes. I want to look at the mission. We have 21 dudes, 7 guys with shields, including the target. Glitch proof hole, thanks to Reneko. Fortunate because I got a swapper. I would have liked to just swap him out of the ship, but alas. Although the glitch proof hole is useful for escaping the ship, because the visit if I visit outside the ship, then that means that I won't get pulled back in. There's a tracker, a defender, and jammer gates. The jammer gates are going to interfere significantly with me running through with the slipstream, which is too bad. The tracker and the defender shouldn't be too much of a concern, because I just want to get my target into a bad situation. The alarm response is medium reinforcement, reinforcement so I can't lure the target to the teleporter. I'm going to have to get him to a window or something, or an explosive barrel, in order to blast a hole in the ship and suck him into space. So that's the current game plan.
So it looks like the tracker is starting right in the top right. If I lure the tracker down to the left slightly, I can slipstream to grab this level 1 key card while he's still distracted, and then hopefully use Terran's super speed hacks to get all the way down here with the momentum, in spite of the fact that I would be running through the jammer gate. I could also just swap the tracker into this pod, and that would deal with him. It'd also give me a high velocity rifle to play around with. Regardless of what I do, I want the tracker to be coming down here. Ooh, I'd like for him to be coming the other direction. Okay, well. So I think I'm just going to. Yeah, I don't have any. If I wasn't weak, I could throw a melee weapon off the wall to clonk him. I think I'm just going to swap with him. Actually, there's no need to bother with that, because I can lure him here and just use a slipstream use instead. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So now I want to use a slipstream. seen again, but it doesn't really matter. misunderstanding exactly how trackers work. I was hoping that it would just be like the heat sensor, where if you step in the heat sensor, it sets off the alarm automatically, but it doesn't actually count as being seen, it's just an automatic thing. But it turns out trackers are just superhumans, uh, and, and he saw my face, and he, he knew who I was, and then I got a penalty. And then I was just running through, and so I got another, another penalty by being seen by another guy. So overall, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think that I could have I could have used the visitor, for example, to get past. Um, I could have just swapped with the tracker. There were a lot of alternatives that I didn't make use of that I had, uh, but I was I was being too stingy. So that's too bad, especially because I finished it in 46 seconds, which would have been a really great score if I hadn't incurred a penalty for being seen by the tracker. So that's a real shame, but. It probably would have been a little bit slower because I wouldn't have been able to swap into that other room, but I could have used the loud gun to lure those guys up and then steal their key card and run through. So it wouldn't have been too much slower, and I would have gotten an enormous style bonus. So that's quite unfortunate, but nevertheless, I still think that I did some clever things. I also basically cheated because at Nobody, Mike right here, I watched his stream while he was doing the daily challenge. And so like some of the strategies I knew were valid strategies. For example, the blowing the hole in the in the ship on the first mission to escape rather than like, I don't know, a window or running somewhere else. 
uh, which is like a pretty quick way to do it. And although I he didn't get the crates on the second ship, and I did get the crates on the second ship. Actually, getting the shield on the second ship really gave me the hubris necessary to test the tracker's ability to spot me. Well, I know now, though. I know now that the, the tracker sees you. He doesn't just shoot you, he sees you. It's not like heat sensors. He's just a very perceptive individual. So, too bad. Uh, I still I feel good about how I played. Wish I hadn't taken that risk with the tracker in retrospect, but that's how you learn. So, yeah, a pretty good daily. Um, 